So in this video, I'm going to talk about some uh, fishing gear for fall Chinook. Uh, Tis the season. Uh, they are in the river. Uh, uh, we had a 40,000 count the other day, and it's already down to like about 10,000. And so they're there. Um, and Vinny was on my boat a couple trips, and he's asking about what spinners to buy, what flashers to buy, what lures to buy. So I thought I'd cover all the gear that I like to use, what's been successful in the past, and in the end, I do a summary on like what a good starter kit should contain, you know, and then just build up from there. So stay tuned. And if you could think of anything that I don't have here, leave something in the comments below. If you like what you saw, give me that thumbs up. Don't forget, if you want to see more like this, smash that subscribe button right down there. Tie lines, see you on the water. So as promised, uh, I'm going to talk about some of the lures I like to use for fall chinook runs. Uh, Vinny, he was on my boat, uh, buoy tan, and here lately on the Columbia River, and now he's asking about, uh, hey Dave, what's what color spinners should I get? What color plugs should I get? What color flashers? Uh, he's kind of new to the salmon fishing. Yeah, he's been fishing, but uh, salmon's kind of new, and he's getting all excited about it. So, uh, so I thought I'd just make a video. So Vinny. <laughs> this one's for you. So I'm going to start with uh, with spinners. Um, so the one of the favorites is the Mexican hat. Comes in copper or gold. Um, next is the Bronco. Same thing, copper or gold. I've had lots of success on both of these. Uh, Pirate Pink Eye, when they want pink, Summer Chinook last year uh, wanted pink. Uh, that one did really well. All the pink flashers, it didn't matter. Uh, as long as it had pink on it, it worked. Uh, the light bulb, uh, this one, and everybody makes these. When I say everybody, you know, you make the Short Bus, VIP, uh, and Simons. Uh, a lot of these are Simons. This is a VIP because it's the, it's the green with the green dot. And on the back, it's uh, what they call candy back. So uh, that's VIP's uh, colors. Uh, this is a soft spinner I use as a, as a my prawn spinner as well. Uh, it's got the stick on it to straighten out uh, the prawn. Um, and uh, it's on 40 pound mono and you just tie up a mooching rig like you normally would and just build it up with spinners and a clevis. I put a smiley blade on this one. You could, uh, I have a quick change clevis so I can put on whatever color blade I want to. The clevises come in plastic or metal. Um, you don't want to use a regular metal clevis because it'll chew up the, the 40 pound mono and it'll just all fall apart. So um, this is a Coast Guard um, and some of the Coast Guards come with a candy back. This one does not, but Coast Guard works pretty well out in buoy 10. Uh, this is one of my ho homemade spinners. Uh, I've made my own on a twist tech. I <clears throat> excuse me. I have a video on that. I'll put a link right there. Um, and so I actually, my, I was on Jack glass boat, uh, just the other day. Thank you, Jack for the ride. I had a great time. Uh, I, uh, sorry, I didn't get fish in the boat, but <laughs> it was one of those days, wasn't it? Uh, so, um, uh, I actually hooked one, actually hooked twice with this color on the rod I was using on Jack's boat. Uh, once uh, while it was in the holder, and when I went to go recheck my bait, I rebaited because we were out, we were on prawn. It was a prawn spinner. Uh, I, on the drop, I'm dropping it down. It got hit while it was in my hand. Tug is the drug. That was just I, God, I so wanted to land that fish. But anyway, so, uh, and that's, uh, that's a little bit about the spinners. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the flashers. There's so many different flashers. Short Bus and Pro Troll are two main players for um, flashers. These are 360s. They do uh, a whole 360 
under the water. That's why they call them 360s. Some people call them skateboards. So this is a Pro Troll. Pro Troll has a single fin on the back. Uh, this prism tape is tried and true and uh, just an old favorite of some of these old guys and uh, I have guys that come on my boat will not do a short bus only the Pro Troll prism tape one. Uh, and I'll show you the difference between the short bus and the Pro Troll. Now here's short bus's mirror. They also have the prism tape but this is just a flat mirror uh, sticker that they have on this particular uh, flasher. Uh, and you can see the difference between a single blade, two blade. These will fish in, in at a slower speed than these will a lot easier. They say you can't mix these on a boat. I do it all the time, whether you're supposed to or not. You're supposed to get that one thump per second. So uh, one of them is just not gonna be the same rate as the other one. Uh, is it doable? Yeah. Do we catch fish on both? Yeah, so. Um, but rule of thumb is they should all be the same. Rule of thumb is same reel, same line, same rod. It, when you get other people on your boat with their own gear, uh, you're, you're going to fish no matter what. So uh, they might not have the same line that you do. One guy might have braid, another guy might have mono. That I'm a firm believer in because I do see the difference between braid and mono as far as the angle of the gear in the water. So something to pay attention to. Uh, some of the other Pro Trolls, uh, this one uh, is has a light in the middle, it's water activated. Uh, hopefully you can see that. So that's a Pro Troll. I don't know the short bus makes them with the light in them, but uh, Pro Troll does. And they make a six inch as well. Um, I've even double stacked these before uh, for springers, um, you know, triangles. So. Uh, Something else. This is crushed. Uh, I've done well on the green crush. That's also one of my favorite. Uh, this is not the green crush, but they do have one. Uh, I've done well on that one. So here's uh, short buses dipped. This one's called the panty dropper. It's got the a mirrored or you know the the rainbow. Like it's not really a prism tape, but it is like a rainbow um, sticker on their on their dipped. This one's called a penny dropper. I've had success with this one. Um, this is their straight up chrome dipped. This is what they call dipped. Uh, this one happens to have a breakaway on it. The whole idea behind this is when you get onto a fish and you have enough tension on it, it breaks away. And now you're fighting just a fish and not the flasher. Um, some people swear by them. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get my head wrapped around whether I like it or not. So as far as bumper, this one is titanium by Simons. Uh, they come in different lengths, 18, 20, 24 uh, are the lengths that I know. I like them because what happens when your dropper uh, for your weight and you're dragging on the ground gets wrapped around your bumper, if it's mono, it will turn it into a telephone cord pretty much render it useless. You'll have to change out the bumper. This one's gotten tangled up. As you can see, it's not straight anymore. It's got just a little kink in it, but it's, you know, I will still use this until it breaks. And I've had these break, so be careful. But uh, Dave over there at Hawkins, you know, I showed him the video of this breaking uh, probably about two years ago. Um, and it was like an anomaly. I've never had one break since. And I'm a firm believer in the titanium bumpers. They're expensive, but they, uh, they work well, I like them, so. Um, so we've talked about uh, spinners a little bit. I'll talk about what I like to use in the ocean. These are like your tinsel, you know, anything that represents a squid. I put hoochies on anything that goes in the ocean when I'm fishing. Uh, so these are, some of these have trebles, some of these are single hook. Uh, the wizards they work pretty well too so i've got a bunch of those i did really well on on this one I caught a bunch of fish last year on that one right there um spin fish i like spin fish spin fish is a stuffable plastic there's all kinds of colors these are my 2.5s that's a misty river flamethrower i forget what they call this one but it's a herringbone and it's chrome and pink. It's got the herringbone color scheme on it. This is a two and a half, 2.5. It's got the hoochie. 
that's my ocean killer. Uh, I did well on the flamethrower this year. Um, and I will talk about what I stuffed these with here in a little bit. I'm going to talk about some of these other spin fish. Um, so I've got uh, other sizes. These are the 3.0s, some of the other colors, Dr. Death, Ladybug. Um, this, the Silver Mad Clown, one of my favorites, did really well on the 4.0. Uh, Monkey Pickle, that's a good one. Chrome Bottom, got dots on it, green with a, with a pink tip on it. Another flamethrower, because that's becoming my favorite. Uh, just, I don't know what this one's called. It's just uh, chartreuse on both ends, like a, like a double trouble. And it's got the blue with the, with the herringbone uh, and, and scale scheme going on the sides. This is the feeder. Uh, it's got the, the red stripe down the middle. It's got the blue and chrome herringbone uh, pattern on the side. Chrome in the middle, blue tip, chartreuse tip. I haven't caught one on that one yet, but man, it looks like a fish killer to me. So. Um, you know, all these, you know, I haven't caught fish in all these, some, but not all. Uh, some of the other, uh, these are not stuffable. These are Simons. They came out with, um, or like late last year, early this year. This is their rendition of the, of the cup plug because the brass cup plugs got so popular. So now Simons uh, makes some. This is the Mexican hat because their spinner is phenomenal. Uh, and this is called the, the Widowmaker Chartreuse. And one thing about these, they, they don't clamshell. They don't open up like the, all the other, like the Brad's cup plugs. You put a, a glow stick, there's a little slot in the back. You pull this out, you break it, you know, you just crack it to get the, the stuff glowing. And then you stick it in the back. And so I'm trying to fish these. Uh, this is the one I, I fished with so far. Um, I've got it here somewhere, but uh, uh, I fished this color the last time out. Uh, nothing, no love for it. So this is the Legion of Boom. It's got the green, blue, and chrome on the side. So uh, I, want, I really want to try to make this one work. Uh, some of the other, so these are the Brad's cut plugs. Um, they have a mini cut plug. They call it a kokanee mini cut plug and the regular size cut plug. Um, and so we do well on these in the ocean for coho. Uh, put a hoochie on there. Anything in the ocean with a hoochie, you're 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 gonna kill it. So, you know, here's the rotten banana, uh, twisted sister. Uh, here's some blue and chrome. I don't know what the name of all these are, but you know, when they go on sale, I always grab them. Like right now, Fisherman's has a sale on anything. Yak them off, buy three, get one free, something like that. So, um, and can't talk about stuffles without talking about super baits. These are great. Um, number one, hot tamale. Uh, that's the first one that always goes in the water. I always kill fish on a hot tamale. Uh, ladybug, another salmon killer. This one always does well. Uh, some of the other colors, this is the Seahawk and it's blue and chartreuse. Got a green tip, chartreuse on the end there. Um, monkey pickle or rotten banana. This is probably a rotten banana. Uh, another Seahawk, there's a lemon lime, the Groucho, uh, another proven killer. Uh, I haven't caught one on the Groucho yet. I probably should try to give it a shot. Uh, I always get them in pairs and I don't get the singles because it's too expensive and I don't do anything pre tight So I get the pairs, that's why you always see me have a couple of them because if once, when you catch one fish on one, it's luck. When you catch two on one, on, on the same color, um, then you're you're getting there. If you catch three, you switch everything out to that color. So I always have multiples of the same color. That's why I have two hot tamales. I got two grouchos, two ladybugs, two of everything. So you never know what color is going to hit that day. So as far as stuffing um, these stuffables, there's there's a few things you could do. Um, one of the things that uh, I've been doing the last couple of years is fish nip. This was developed by Cody Herman and Procure. Uh, it hangs on a shelf, it's not in the refrigerator, it is like a bait. Um, and what I do with this, uh, I have it in a jar. This is, this is from last year. And so it kind of gets a little dried out. Uh, I keep it in the fridge, says you don't have to, I keep mine in the fridge. Uh, I don't put anything in it until I'm on the water. And what I did this year that worked pretty well 
was the scent bomb. Uh, this is Deadly Duncan Scent Bomb, Bloody Tuna Sardine by Procure. The only place I have found this is at uh, Fishfield. Fishfield always has the colors that nobody else has and the stuff that nobody else has. So uh, thanks, Fishfield. Uh, plug for you guys. Uh, so, and I mix it just in my hand. I just take a little bit of the fish nip, you know, I just take a little bit out of here, put it in my palm, mix it up until it's like a, like a paste. Because coming like right now, it's dry. Um, um, and so it's, you know, it's kind of powdery and dry. Uh, that's why I keep it, you know, in a sealable mason jar. Um, and you just mix it up till it paste. And I put that in the flamethrower, uh, which I showed you earlier. Um, it's around here somewhere. So the flamethrower. Uh, that's what I stuffed in there was the fish nip with a little bit of that scent bomb and that was my success in the ocean this year that uh, buoy tan so I'll probably continue to do that so the other things you could do store-bought tuna this is uh, Fred Meyer Safeway wherever you go your grocery shopping get the, the tuna in oil don't get it in water get the oil uh, and don't drain it strain it or anything keep the oil in it and what I'll do, I'll put a little powder in it. I like this krill powder. Um, this is Procure, uh, krill. Um, I love krill, krill works well. Uh, I do the powder and I also do the injection and I'll go over the injection here in a little bit. One of the other powders is a Slamola. Uh, sometimes it entices the bite. Uh, Monster Bite works too. Um, it's just, Monster Bite is this concentrated. If you have any questions about any of these powders, what they do and how to use them, there's a phone number on every Procure product. They're in Salem, call them. They will answer the phone during regular business hours. And you have, you say, hey, I got a question about the Slimola. Oh, hold on, sir. And they'll put you to someone there that knows about this and how to use it, how much, all that. Because the guys in the stores have been told, oh, two tablespoons per can, uh-uh. This stuff goes a long way. A pinch works in a can of tuna. So if you have any questions, call them up and they will talk to you about how much to use. Um, and so the other thing that you'll see on the shelves is this tuna bloodline by Sensation Crustacean. Um, and this is not for human consumption. This is just for your stuffables. It's bloodline tuna. When you open it, you'll see how dark it is. Don't drain it or strain it either. It's got some fluid in here. And so you, you mix a little bit of powder, whatever you want to put in there, or don't put anything in it the day of, then you can mix whatever you want, oils, gels, or you know, whatever scents you want. Uh, to figure out if they want anise, if they want uh, garlic. Those are the two big scents. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, and so all these come in, uh, uh, you know, like here's garlic, bloody tuna, super gel. Uh, this is bait oil. This is anise plus. So garlic and anise are two of the bigger scents that we use on the water. Uh, the, the super gel is good for like putting on the back of a spinner blade on the outside of something. I don't squirt it. The only thing I squirt it into might be a little uh, scent tube, you know, because it just lasts a long time, but cleaning it out is not easy. The super gels work good on the outside of stuff. When you put it on the inside of something, it's just harder to clean. The oils work well for that. Another oil that works well is uh, these, this is half oil, half water. These are sprayable. Um, this one happens to be krill, because I'm a krill. I love krill. This one's herring, they come in sardine, they come in all different uh, flavors. And so what's nice about these is, it's a half water, half water mix. And you could just spray it on whatever you're gonna put in the water, just drop it overboard and, and fish with it. And so it washes, it doesn't last as long, but it washes off easily. So like if you're doing twitching jigs and you want to spice up your twitch, your twitching jig, Give it a squirt of this. And what's nice about the twitching jigs, they're not all, you know, hackle or um, marabou. I, I don't know if I put this on marabou or not, but it's like the art, all the artificial lures, the artificial feathers, definitely. And yeah, because it will wash off. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't goo it up. Um, and so here's some of the other 
uh, stuff to put on your blades or uh, your plastics. This is uh, the Super Sticky. This is also by Pure Procure Bait Sauce. Uh, this is garlic, sardine. Um, you've probably seen this on someone else's video, and that's why I got these. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. Uh, so uh, I, I'm going to start using these and see how well they work. Um, and so uh, something I'm going to start using this year just to see. Now, something that I've used in years past is the Smelly Jelly. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, made pro guide formula. Uh, the smelly jelly makes a whole bunch of stuff, but this stuff right here, this is crawfish triple X. I'm trying not to get my hands on it because this stuff is, you open the jar, everybody in the boat knows it. In the fishing department, everybody's like, what is that? It is this crawfish triple X and you dip a hook in that and there is some stink in the water. And that's what these fish like. Sometimes they like this stink. So, uh, just something to consider. I've also got it in sand shrimp. This is for my steelhead because steelhead likes sand shrimp. Uh, so the color, taste, anything sand shrimp for the salmon. I use sand shrimp colored jigs, sand shrimp colored beads, uh, and sand shrimp flavored smelly jelly. So something to consider. Now as far as like injecting, Procure makes this uh, bait injection scent system. This needle is sharp. <laughs> it hurts. Ask me how I know. These get lost so easily. I just, uh, what, the way I would do this is on my spin fish, there's a nice big hole. Because when this goes in the water, the water's going this way. So they have a big hole here, a bunch of small holes up here. So what I do with this, I put my favorite scent in here, and I'll talk about that here in a little bit. And I just stick it in the hole, give it a squirt after I've stuffed it. Give it a squirt till I see it coming out of the holes, out of the seams, whatever. And then I drop it overboard. Now, a lot of times I have the cap right here like this. And I go to drop my lure. Next thing I know, I open my hand and there goes the cap. <laughs> uh, you want to keep the cap on this because that needle will poke and it will hurt you. So just a little caution there. Um, and so my favorite oil to put in my stuffables is this one, shrimp and krill oil. I told you, I love krill. Krill, just, I love it. Uh, so, and I even have the big jar, the big eight ounce. Uh, these are two ounce bottles and there's also a big eight ounce. Um, and so I've got this in a big bottle because I will go through at least a couple of these in a season, uh, because I'm a firm believer in the shrimp and krill. And so, um, you know, you got your, your anise and the garlic, um, anise, anise, for Chevy, I don't know. It's just, you know, whatever floats your boat. It's, it's pronounced a couple different ways. The super gel, uh, super gooey, the oil, you know, you can use it uh, in an injection or you can just squirt it right into the, well, as it's, before you close up the clamshell, whatever, just give it a little squirt. I just like the injection because it uh, um, it seems to be cleaner, but it's got its pros and cons. Um, let's talk a little bit about coon shrimp uh, on the on the uh, uh, prawn spinners. Uh, these are widely available, the millennial, um, along with rays, coon shrimp. Um, and uh, probably my favorite of these three is the Washington coon shrimp. And they come in a couple different varieties. Sometimes you'll see them there. They got like a, like a UV glow to them, like a, like a, like a green glow to them. Um, so I've got a couple different ones of these. Looney coonies. That's another good one. I don't have any Looney coonies yet. But this is what we do as, fisher as fishermen. We just like, oh, I hear that's good. Uh, I got to get that. You know, that's why you see I've got all these colors different ways to fish all these things is because you know once you hear something it's like oh I gotta do it that way um, if I didn't talk about it before um, the scent bomb deadly Duncan scent bomb bloody tuna and sardine this is what I mix in the fish net um, I think I've covered just about everything that I've got here so in summary, if you're just starting to buy 
uh, salmon gear because uh, you're gonna go fish on someone else's boat. Um, where I think the minimum you should begin with uh, for spinners, Mexican hat, Bronco. Uh, get a few pinks, greens, green, green dot. Um, maybe the, the white with the red dot. You could make your own spinners too. Get a leaderboard like this. These fishings, they're great for putting stuff on. Uh, versus having it in a box and then you pick up one spinner and picking up three so or five or ten you set to sit there and pick them apart but but uh and then for stuffables if you're going to do them get the super baits get uh, a two pack of the hot tamale and a two pack of the ladybug tie up your own rigs learn how to tie those mooching rigs easy to do get some fishing line and some hooks, some three and four aught, uh, whatever your preference is, the Mustad, the, the Gamagatsus, um, you know, Ford Chevy, everyone's got their own favorites. So, um, flashers, um, get your chrome, that's all I'm gonna say, chrome. Uh, the sticker, the prism, you know, this is the mirror, this is the prism tape, anything chrome, really. Um, if you, uh, if you find, if you find dips, you know, that's the way to go. Bumpers, you can make your own 60, 100, 150, 200 pound mono also works. Um, the breakaways, not absolutely necessary. You don't, you don't need the breakaways, but like I said earlier, some people swear by them. Um, they work well without, so. And uh, fish nip, store bought canned tuna and oil. Uh, and when you start getting your pro care oils and super gels, uh, you know, my favorite oil, shrimp and krill. Um, and then, as far as the super gels, get the anise garlic bloody tuna or anise garlic, uh, get the, uh, the garlic bloody tuna, anise bloody tuna and just straight up bloody tuna works well too. Um, and I think that's really about it. All this other stuff, you know, you just kind of build up as you go along. You know, you go on someone else's boat and all, you know, they go or they dip, you know, and they go, oh, I'm gonna do this and they catch fish and you're like, okay, that's on my list. That's pretty much how it works. But uh, I think you got a pretty good solid basis for a start. So if you think this works, if all you other guys think that this is a good place to start, give me that thumbs up, uh, give me some discussion, say something down in the, in the discussion down below. Remember, if you want to see more like this, smash that subscribe button. Tie lines, see you on.